We've all been waiting for it, and it's finally here. DaVinci Resolve 19, the beta version, is officially out. In this video, I'm gonna share some of the updates and new features they've added that I'm super excited to start using. And of course, as Will and I start using these more, we will be releasing in-depth tutorials showing you how to use them as well. So subscribe to stay in the loop for that. Now let's talk about some of these amazing new features. Disclaimer, because it's in beta, there are gonna be bugs. It might, it's probably gonna randomly crash on you. A lot of these updates and new features are particularly awesome for the paid studio version of Resolve. One of the awesome things about the studio version is you pay for it just once, and then you get to update for free forever. The first update I'm very happy to see is the transcription feature. They have made working with transcriptions easier and better and better and better. They've now made it possible to have the option to do speaker detection. So if you have multiple people on screen speaking, it's now easy to identify who's saying what. They've also given you the option to do text-based editing. So you can use the transcription. If you see part of it that you're like, oh, cut that out of the video. All you do is highlight it, press delete, and it actually will highlight and remove that part of the video from your timeline. If you have gaps in your dialogue, you can just see that in the transcription. Delete those gaps and get rid of those random silent parts. Definitely a time saver that's gonna make working with transcriptions easier than ever. This next one's small, but it was something that was annoying before that is now unannoying. And that is if you're working with text, you can now type out and edit and change your text right on your program window. You don't have to go over to the settings in the inspector panel anymore to write your text and change your text, which is nice. And coming from a Premiere background, you can do that. So I'm happy to see they've added it in Resolve's latest update. This next new feature, I swear Will wished into existence. He's working on a skate video and he said, I wish there was a way that I could keep the skateboard noise, the ambient noise, but remove chit chatting in the the background. Well, <laughs> DaVinci Resolve has created a tool that can do just that. You use sliders to adjust the volume of the ambience of the background noise or of the person talking and you can mute each. So if you want to only hear the sound of the skateboard, you can mute people talking. Now I'm curious to see which works better with someone's voice and reducing background noise. Voice isolation, which by the way, on a side note, they've now made faster and easier to work with than ever, or dialogue separator. They've added Film Look Creator, which is an easy way to make your footage look like it was actually shot on film and to adjust and customize. For the commercial work that Will and I usually do and the YouTube stuff, I don't see us using it too much, but I can see a lot of people being into it. So pretty cool. I don't know about you, but one of my least favorite things about editing is the annoying, tedious task of choosing the perfect song for a project. Because I'll find a song, it will sound really good, except for that one uh, cringy noise that it makes throughout. Now, DaVinci Resolve gives you the option to increase, decrease, or mute the drums, the bass, someone's voice. I don't understand at all how it's even possible to do this, but it's pretty incredible. And I know that different music websites will give you the option to download the track without drums, download without this, but sometimes I don't know what sound I'm looking to remove. So to have to download a bunch of different tracks to figure that out, I'm not gonna do that realistically. So having the option to just mute, increase, decrease the different sounds right in Resolve, that's gonna make my life way easier. And maybe it will even bring joy back to picking out music for projects again. This is a pretty great update, especially if you're not super advanced with audio stuff. In previous versions of Resolve, if you were working with dialogue and you wanted to bring down the volume of the music during the talking parts, you'd have to use dynamics and it wasn't super automatic and obvious. Now they've added a very simple, easy to understand and use ducking feature where 
here you just decide the levels that you want your music to be reduced to during the talking parts and then it just smoothly and nicely does that for you. It's just very simple and something I think will come in handy for a lot of editors. Okay, so there you go. Those are some of the top AI features and updates that I think are really gonna make our lives easier as video editors. Which do you think you'll use most? Let me know in the comments below. Coming up, we'll definitely be releasing in-depth tutorials looking at some of these awesome new tools and features. We have tons of in-depth DaVinci Resolve tutorials on our channel, so check those out if you wanna learn some things and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.